allow them to write the way Hollywood used to write. Today, we have minds that cannot concentrate for one second. If you notice commercials on television, ping, 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 they shoot one second shots. I get nauseous watching it. If you go to the movies, the camera is all over the place. It's not a stable camera. The same thing with the one second shots. People today suffer from attention deficit. If you don't give it to them in the first three seconds, they're not interested. When I was yeah, that starting is correct, show, yeah. Well, just one point I want to make. When I was starting my show, a very dear friend of mine, uh, uh, she's a producer of English, of Irish plays, said to me, if you don't grab a person in the first second, they're going to click away and go to the next network. That was George Ann Heller, by the way. Um, I said, why is that, Georgie? She said, because people, if they don't like it for the first second, they won't stick around to see what it's about. And that's what we're all about in the entertainment business. Well, actually, what we're all about, you know, um, by the way, I made a mistake that um, uh, Gina actually, um, Skype actually does the Oprah show, show. So Skype is connected to everybody, probably in the entire world, but Oprah uses it as well. And um, so, you know, and also our show, not this show we're actually doing now, none of this is edited. We don't edit anything in this show. So this, this comes out as this is real reality. This is really reality. So, mm -hmm. Gina, you know, what's your question answered for you? Well, it, it is, and, and you know what, I was just watching a thing with Ellen Burstyn today who had lunch with Betty Davis, and Betty Davis had told her that um, to to uh, confront your enemies, and she said, you know how you'll know who your enemies are, and she said, it's anyone who stands in the way of your work in Hollywood, and and I totally agree with that thing, and I, and I hope that Ron and you do too. That well, it's I absolutely just, you know, agree with you. you have to you're determined, to nobody can stop you, and, and I think that that is what is so missing of today is that we let people get in the way and stop us and, and you know, and it is about the money and the three second grab and, and Ron was saying that the camera's not stable anymore. Absolutely. But I think yeah, you it's just as with reality T V we all will get tired of it and we'll go back to the way it should be. But we we definitely have to have that three that three second grab. If you don't have that, everybody flicks. Everybody's in a hurry today. Everybody's moving fast, fast forward, fast forward. Which is you know it, it's fine because this is how the younger generation are. I mean, being older, we do see the big difference with the young people. But there is a twenty year difference between people anyway. So we're definitely going to have that break. But also, what I want to ask, since I've got Gina on the line here, is what do you think, and Ron, of course, what do you think of the uh, paparazzi? We have um. Julie Roberts just did a whole thing on the paparazzi and trying to um, because they you know they, they come close to the cars or they'll 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 drive right in front of you so they can get a great photograph and they do lots of things that but then without the paparazzi we don't get our publicity so where does that fall wrong? I, I think they're disgusting and I think there should be more laws. Um, I know that they did put the one law in place that you cannot take a picture from a moving vehicle right now. And I think that that's a start, a very minimal start. I, I, I think it's, if you're in a public place, you're on a red carpet, totally different story. But impeding on their privacy on vacations and, and then putting up these degrading things like, oh, look at her cellulite. And stuff, it's disgusting, and it, and it teaches our youngsters to be disgusting. And I think that that's partly what's wrong with this right now. So what do you <laughs> think, uh, Rob, what do you think of the paparazzi? Well, in Palm Springs, I did the red carpet for one of the Palm Springs International Film Festivals. And I was, of course, in a position like maybe in Malibu because I was not a big shot. All the great networks got the best positions. And the position I was at was where all the paparazzi were. And if you could hear what the paparazzi say, you would throw up. What do they say? That's well, I can't, I mean, how vulgar can I get? I mean, I could be dirty. I don't give a shit about language. But, I mean, references to famous stars. Douchebag is coming. Look at this old fuck. I mean, look at this one. She can't even walk. She must have a dildo up her ass. I mean, you have to hear the horrible stuff they say. Disgusting. I'm embarrassed to even have just said it on television or wherever the hell I'm on. Yeah, but Liz, that's but, real. That's real, though. That's, that's real. That's and the paparazzi disrespect them. They call them niggers. They call them whores. They call them drug addicts. And then when they write their articles, they say, don't use the N-word. Oh, she's okay. They're, they're two-faced. They're horrible people. Not all the paparazzi. I mustn't do that. I mustn't paint them all with one brush. There are, I know several who are, I have two, three that I love and adore that cover all of my things when I go out, you know, into the world, um, who I allow to photograph situations that I'm in with certain stars. 
and they're lovely so, but people. Don't you, don't you agree it's the buying public, though, because they're buying these trashy magazines and the Inquirer's paying gazillions of dollars to get the well, shot? That's true. Well, that's, so true. Just, that's true, too, but I, I think, um, you know, we have to have the paparazzi out there, obviously, Ron, because, um, you know, we, we, do, we, we have do, to have do. it in the papers. We have to see what's, what's going on. But, that's what makes them. That's who they are. We've always had paparazzi. Before they were called paparazzi, which is an Italian word, they were called reporters. And the reporters had class manners. They would just they would not disrespect a star. I was somewhere, where was I? I was at a big thing for the film festival here, and I was with Jane Russell and we were eating lunch. And one of the paparazzi came up to the table and began photographing us. And I said, excuse me, sir, we're eating. Could you not photograph Miss Russell with the celery stick coming out of her mouth? Uh, it's not attractive. And he looked at me, he said, where the hell do you think you are, in old Hollywood? Something to that effect. And I said, no, but if you don't leave the table, we'll have you escorted out of here. Absolutely. Learn some Absolutely. manners. Absolutely. Learn some manners. Don't photograph a celebrity when they're eating. But it's these just, are celebrities. But these people are celebrities, and, and I agree with you. You don't want to have a, a, a well, eating. Well, then you know what we should do. At the do. same time, they are celebrities. They do want the publicity. Okay. They do want to be out but, there. Where do we stop it? So we should break in their doors while they're on the john, wiping themselves, and get a good crotch shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Around now. <laughs> we're, there. we're going there. It seems that we we have we can't sensationalize what do you anything. Think, what, what, let me ask you another question. Let's, let's go off this a little bit. Let's ask you, what, what's, what's going on with the younger generation, the, the young people going into the industry? It's a little different to, to how we did it. It's more, it's more of a reality now. 